Hello everyone and thank you for coming back, stopping back by the channel. It's your girl Deb Chanel's 4 Days World doing it again. But this time, honey baby child, we talking about Britney Smith uh excuse me, Britney Spears and her being freed from her family or conservative ship. Oh child. Britney was hot back in the day. Oops, I did it again. Yes, and she still continue to keep doing it, okay? I'm trying to see. Uh, I think she might have had, don't guess. I mean, I'm guessing. Don't hold me to it. I think she don't have about um, two failed marriages. Uh, All of them were spur of the moment. Just had to, you know, get out there and do what, what it make it do what it do. And... I think she has three kids, I want to say. They're grown now. Um, she love being in love with the love bug, okay? I don't know if she actually was in love or what she thought was love. I have no idea. But Brittany, ever since she got with Disney at a young age in the Mickey Mouse Club and Justin Timberlake and just the whole thing with Disney and I didn't really look at it for what it was especially when I was young and when I got grown I had my own daughter and things of that nature and I still didn't see it but Disney is a very very wicked type of organization if you don't know do your research that's all I got to say I had to do mine so I want y'all to do y'all <sighs> This is a hot mess out there in the entertainment world. But for those who like to partake of it and they want to clam higher on in the entity, boy, they got to do a lot of things that ain't kosher. Okay? Some people say they be selling their souls. Some people say they be sacrificing their loved ones. Some people say they get MK altered. altered. Some are clones. Ooh, the list just goes on and on and on and on. From the windows to the wall. Okay. Sanity. No, Britney just go great, great. Britney just go fall down. Okay. I'm like, wait, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They don't have Britney strung up. And pretty much home arrest. Where she wasn't making no business decisions. She, from what she say, she didn't have a phone. She couldn't go and come as she pleased. She had people giving her medication and packets. Oh, honey, she got a documentary going to be done on her life. And I'm like, okay. Sound like white folk problems. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. Sound like rich folk problems, but I sit here, I sit here and look at it all and digest it and then take it all in and grasp onto my own opinions, my perspectives of what I've seen, what I heard. Because everything you see is may not be exactly what you're seeing, you know what I'm saying? You can see something to your left, see something to your right, and you could have sworn you saw it one way, then it could be totally different perceptions or everything mind control is definitely done if you don't believe me look at that movie called Mashurian Candidate it goes back in the 50s I think when it's first published probably in the 50s or 60s but Denzel played a good part up in the 2000s something I think it came out but I watched both of them excellent actors involved with that and the military, they do it too. They do it. You, you, if you ever wonder, sometimes a lot of people go into the military, they're already troubled. But nine times out of ten, if they didn't leave trouble, they're going to come back trouble in the mind. Trust and believe. Have several military folks from the Air Force to the Navy and to the all Army. The arm in a green camouflage. Yep. 
all served in the military. Th three different forces or uh, th three different um, stations or branches, I should say. So, yeah. They came back really messed up in the head. And then, at the point that we're living in today, a lot of our veterans that have served and do, did their due diligence with protecting our country... They don't come back to anything. They definitely don't come back to a world that they once knew. Okay? That world has passed, gone and passed, or passed and gone. And they're trying to catch up in their minds. And a lot of them don't succeed well. And then they don't have the support uh, and the resources that they need. And that's so terrible. But Brittany, 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 Brittany. Brittany ain't always been straight in the head, for one. I think a lot of things happened to her as a young child, growing up into the entertainment business, and being shuffled around to old dirty men, okay? That casting couch. All right, and her, her family put her in that position and left her there fend for herself and just make money 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 for the love of money yes y'all know that song listen to the lyrics pay attention because it's so fitting it is so very true but Brittany has always seemed like she's had issues with her mental state and she's supposed to be engaged to this young man he looks very, very handsome. Very handsome. And I'm like, when did you get a chance to meet him, Brittany? How you gonna be engaged to somebody when you saying you were kind of sheltered from the world? You were locked up in your house, security everywhere, watching your every move. You didn't even have a landline in the house that you could use. You didn't have a cell phone. Everything was being monitored. Right down to the T. Your every move was being monitored. So when did you get this boyfriend? Because it sounds more like a handler to me. To track your every move. But. As you can see through the pictures. I got some good ones. And I got some bad ones. And definitely Brittany has been on the upscale. And she definitely had to come tumbling back down. And she's had several mental breaks. And it seems like from listening to the story that is being told throughout social media and reading up on certain exposés that are put out there on her, this child had a lot, lot going on, honey. And then she paying alimony, I think, to steal uh, Kevin Fairline, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe all the kids are grown and not in college and, you know, he don't have to get paid. But he would even get spousal support. I said, uh-uh. Then they got some on her daddy who's supposed to be ahead of everything as far as her financial portfolio and her well-being as far as her mental state. They said he was spending her money left and right, embezzling, allegedly. And you know he need to be worked up the crack of his ass, allegedly. But some people need to go see about him. You know what I'm saying? The IRS, maybe. Okay. See what he got going on in his offshore accounts. So Brittany can get all her money back. Okay. And sit her butt down somewhere. Because she definitely don't need to be entertaining us anymore. Just chill. Let's chill. Settle down. Before you get messed up in your head again. So I'm going to click it off in your head. Making you do ungodly things. Such as this. You had a nervous breakdown. Went into rehab. Uh, so, so many times. It's not even funny. And you were looking very miserable. And that's why I guess it was deemed that you could not handle your financial situations anymore. You could not handle uh, everyday living. Uh, supplying all the resources you need to have. Like food, clothing, and shelter. All that was being deemed, uh ratchet or for lack of a better word because i can't think of one right now you just want handling your uh business portfolio or just your livelihood well at all you know you were shaving your head out there you were 
beating a car up with a broom, not a broom, but an umbrella. You know, you're looking kind of manic out there. Having like episodes or something. I mean, I understand. You went from sugar to shit. Now you're going from shit to sugar again. I don't know. You know, you messing with Timberlake. Y'all were dating for a while. Now he with Jessica Bill, And I don't know what they doing. I mean, she don't, She just left the business all together. She just started saying, I'm going to have your babies. And I'm just going to be a good wife. And you can still toil out there with the entertainment world. And having to make albums and, and work yourself to death. But I be at home. I be at home. That's what she told, I guess. I don't know because I don't see her on the scene no more. She used to make movies. Okay. Trying to be an A-lister out there. But, I mean, Brittany done did some awful things. Huh? Some awful things. Allegedly. And so it seems like she was getting back her just due. But, uh... She couldn't handle certain things and she just went berserko. And I don't know if it's a mental, uh, like a chemical breakdown in her brain that's making her do these things, or she just, you know, got a hold of some bad ooh wee, you know, or other illicit drugs. And the chemicals just wasn't working right in her body. And it made her come out of her body, come out of her normal behavior, and act like and viewed and seen like in public like this a hot mess okay but if, if she was under you know the influence of some things then we can't blame her you know because mental illness is something not to be shamed or mocked you know if it, you know of anybody that have mental illness it's a serious illness and it needs to be dealt with delicately with empathy and compassion okay but, uh, yeah, I mean, he was talking about Free Britney, uh, what the fuck, well, Madonna, I mean, Madonna never came out, and I don't think so, I could, in fact, shackles get down, but that was her, like, protege, her mentor, passing the torch to her, and this, that, and the third, and I'm like, well, where, uh, these heavy hitters at, okay, where did the lead at, or do the lead got her sold up, okay, until she want to do what they want her to do. And that's all how this conservatorship came about and her freedoms being taken and, you know, she's kind of being ousted from the community of the rich and famous Hollywood until she wanted to do what they wanted her to do. If there's a cer certain code up there in Hollywood with the ones that are supposed to be on top. But then again, that's not none of my business, okay? Not none of my business, but I'm just going to talk about it because I want to talk about it. But, um... That's my perspective on it, you know. I just really wish, you know, Brittany just, you know, she gets her life back, which it seems like she has done. She won the conservatorship from her dad, put back into her own uh, hands. And I just hopefully, hopefully, let's pray for her, y'all, that she don't end back up like this. We don't lost some serotonin. We don't lost some... Uh, membranes up there that's helping her because she don't did something else she ain't had no business doing okay like partaking of illicit drugs allegedly getting in certain situations she don't need to be in just to be in the public eye you know because i don't think she's bisexual but she was just trying to maybe she was high at the time when she wanted to lock lips with madonna Okay, I'm not really sure. It could have just been a stunt they wanted on the award show that was being presented at the time. And they just wanted to have something for the public to talk about. You know, do something that never has really been done before. So we can just keep all the buzz on us. You know, it might have been a PR stunt. Or it could have been, you know, Madonna just acting out and Britney just... You know, returning the favor and not letting her be stupid out there. But just, you know, returning the favor. Like, okay, you kissed me. Really didn't like it. But I'm going to, you know, not back off. Because you're supposed to be like the queen of everything in the pop world. So, uh, I'm going to give you your just do it. I'm going to let you kiss me. I'm going to kiss you back. And we're going to let it go. But I'm not gay. I am, you know, I'm heterosexual. I like it, love it. And that's what I want to be. But, you know, since you went and smacked me, I just smacked you back. And we just going to let it roll like that. I mean, that's a, maybe that's what she was saying in her mind. I don't know. But it got her a lot of unnecessary negative press. Uh, making people speculate. Is she bi? 
or is she totally trying to go to you know the side of liking the same gender we just never know you know britney was the big headlines for a long long time between her michael jackson uh who else was in the headlines real bad out there i can't think of them how could all the just think of them at the time and we could say r you know the pipe piper you know he's not faring uh very well either i don't know what he didn't do but they making him suffer just like they did bill cosby you know calm as a bitch i'm telling you stop doing these things and consequences won't happen to you but you know when you play in hollywood you tend to get shunned because you're not playing the game okay but anyway britney britney spears have won her life back and the sad part about it she has been on hiatus not of her own accord by by her father and other people uh allegedly her family was like in cahoots to keep her down uh controlled uh her life just you know not being able to be able to choose where she want to come where she want to go what she probably want to eat for the day you know she probably was handling her diet her uh medication regiment uh, her finances i mean all that i guess she had to do was just sleep and eat pretty much and then they you know they probably were monitoring that like you, you you sleeping too much you need to get up you need to do some exercise you need to do it you know like she was in a training boot camp or something and she had just no say like she had joined the the uh branches of the uh military you know where somebody else is thinking for you you don't have to think just listen to what we tell you to do do it verbatim and you, we won't have no problem <laughs> like she just got enlisted into her own prison or her own military that she didn't even think that she was going to be a part of but with all her bad decision making all her antics for the negative she was doing out in the public whoa 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 they took her to the cleaners okay and it pretty much almost financially wiped her out uh understanding some of the uh media's press that they put out there that her dad was not doing a good job with making sure her money stayed intact and that money that was supposed to be building up should have been earning interest and this that and the third but he was just running through like it was like look she was playing the lottery or had won the lottery and he's just going through the money going giving himself increases <laughs> Woo, i was like our parents our parents what can we do what can we do with them or can we do without them because now britney is almost like she want to sue she want to litigate against her family members for doing her the way they did her for so so many years and she said uh-uh i'm finna get folks back because it was wrong but that was just my take my spiel it's all about the money it's all about that dollar 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 bill and all the other stuff just walks to the side but we have a write-up from us weekly they call it real talk uh i can't pronounce the writer's last name i'm not even gonna try to tear it up so we're just gonna call her by her first name yana okay she's writing it for us weekly and she titled it britney spears claps back at family for lack of support amid conservatorship battle she stated britney stated makes me want to cry okay i'm like oh cry cry me a river britney okay go on and cry it out honey better yet put it in a little biopic a biop okay do your documentary girl so we can see how you was mistreated and how the end result was that you got your life back girl and you got a fiance to boot, which I think he's your handler. And you don't got MK Alter, but that's not none of my business. All of this is allegedly. Okay, but going back to the article, it says clearing the air. Following her recent win in court, Britney Spears decided to put her family on blast for not being present during her conservatorship struggles. All right, Britney Spears conservatorship mental health battles explained. 
This picture is everything to me. It makes me want to cry. She's saving her divine female sister. Spears 39 captioned a painting of a woman swimming underwater to help out her seemingly unconscious friend via Instagram on Tuesday, October 5th. So y'all go check out that Instagram. Y'all can see it looked like a mermaid to me, but you know, two mermaids, but you know, I don't know where she was going with it and the comparison she was really trying to make. Okay, it's like you have to read between the lines with Brittany. You have to read between the lines. What is she saying? Is she still giving us codes and we just not mastering it? All right, are you talking more scroll to us, girl? I don't know. But going back to the article, it says, while gushing over the photo, the performer reflected on the lack of support from those closest to her when she needed it the most. I suggest if you have a friend that's been in a house that feels really small for four months, no car, no phone, no door for privacy, they have to work around 10 hours a day, seven days a week and give tons of blood weekly. With never, with never a day off. I strongly suggest you go pick up your friend and get them the hell out of there. She continued. If you're like my family who says things like, sorry, you're in a conservatorship. Probably thinking you're different so they can F you. Okay. Or F with you. And I'm like, girl, Brittany, they took your car. They took your phone. And then they took your door down. You mean they were sitting up there watching you 24-7. Probably had cameras on you, girl. And you didn't even have a door. What girl did you have a door to your bathroom? When you had to go do number one or number two. They didn't need to see all that, girl. When you want to take a bath and be naked. Girl, tell me they didn't have that door down either. Girl, they had that door down. Yeah, you need to get them. Get them in court, girl. Get them in court for mental abuse. Because that would be mental right there for me. Because you ain't have no dementia going on now. Or did you, girl? Were you locking yourself up inside the door? And they couldn't get in, girl? Was that the case? All right. That's just my sidebar. Wasn't in this later article. But we're going back to the article. It says, The pop star ended the shady post by acknowledging attorney Matthew Rosengard for helping change my life following his uh, recent success in getting her father, Jamie Spears, removed as her conservator. Britney's social media call-out comes after she previously accused family members of benefiting from her 13-year-long conservatorship. During a shopping, a shocking court hearing in June, the dancer detailed the demoralizing struggle that she went through over the years. I didn't know I could petition the conservatorship to end. I honestly didn't know that. The Grammy winner told the judge at the time, I've never said it openly. I never thought anyone would believe me. I'm not lying. I just want my life back. It's been 13 years and it's been enough. I want to be able to be heard. Brittany also added that she would like to sue her family. Okay. Although she didn't clarify who exactly. But she felt wasn't on her side. Okay. Uh, following the circus. Single bombshell revelations her sister Jamie Lynn Spears addressed claims that she wasn't supporting her older sister enough online. I think it's extremely clear that since the day I was born, I've only loved and adored and supported my sister. I mean, this is my freaking big sister before any of this bull-ish. Okay, Jamie Lynn 30 said via Instagram story that's that same month i don't care if she wants to run away to the rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere or if she wants to come back and dominate the world the way she has so many times before i have nothing to gain or lose either way this situation does not affect me because i am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness Okay, the Zoe 101 alum explained that she didn't need to prove on social media that she was looking out for Britney. Maybe I didn't support her the way the public would have liked me to with a hashtag on a pu public platform. But I can assure you I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag, she noted. And I'll support her long after. Note that. Okay, one month later, the Crossword star... The Crossroads star slammed her so-called support system in a lengthy social media essay. There's nothing worse than when the people closest to you who never showed up for you post things in regard to your situation. 
whatever it may be, and speak right uh, righteously for support. Uh, Brittany wrote via Instagram in July. There's nothing worse than that. Okay. Uh, then they say she took a uh, dig at a songwriter. Uh, Sweet Manolia star directly. I don't like that my sister showed up at an award show and performed my songs to remixes. Brenda, Brittany shared at the time. This conservatorship killed my dreams. So all I have is hope. And hope is the only thing in this world that is very hard to kill. Yet people still try. People try to kill hope. Because hope is one of the most vulnerable and fragile things there is. Okay. So I don't know who Brittany trying to go at. Unless she trying to go at everybody. trying to go at her sister. Okay, she's trying to go at her dad and Jamie. Yeah, she might be trying to go at her mama and her dog. I don't know what's wrong with Brittany. But I'm like, girl, if I had the opportunity to be on my own again, have control of all my finances, have control of all my uh, medical uh, side of my health and well-being, if I had control of my businesses, girl, I would probably be on the next boat smoking. Okay, I wouldn't be definitely doing any more uh, concerts or uh, we call them things when you go to Las Vegas residencies uh, where you host up at uh, Las Vegas and you stay at the MGM or whatever <laughs> and you become one of their uh, main attractions to bring in um, visitors from other countries or states or, you know, whatever, tourists to come see you perform like, mm -mm. I wouldn't be doing none of that. I'd be in the sun. Give me some sunshine on somebody's beach in somebody's country or state. I'd be uh, just catching up on living. Just everything, everyday things that you never got a chance to in 13 years do for yourself. Child, please. Uh-uh. I wouldn't be fussing with none of them. I'd be saying, attorney, get them. <laughs> this is all what I need. See what you can get. Get back with me. Let's go into uh, attack mode because I want everybody to uh, know I didn't like what they did and they're going to pay for it dearly. But we're going to do it monetarily. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put nobody in jail. I don't want to see none of that. But I like to see bank accounts being um, depleted. I like to see it being drained. And if any of that money that's in their account uh, was given to them illegally, or they extorted it while I was under this conservatorship. I need my funds back with interest. Okay. And if it puts them in the poor house. Then so be it. Okay. So be it. Whoo. Child. Brittany. You just in a lot of scandal. Girl. It's a, it's a crime. It's a shame. And the scandal. That you still. Is in a lot of mess. Especially when you're talking about you want to sue your family. Girl, I'm like, take your losses and go. Go, go, go wherever you, wherever you felt you had peace. Go there and get yourself some peace. Okay? Because it seems like your children are grown. You can do pretty much what you want to do. Take your newfound boyfriend, fiance, husband, however you want to see them. And get gone. Get ghost. Okay? Live your life for at least 10 years. Then come back and try to do some things if you want to. Because you'll probably be like 40 something. So I think you would. Well, how old is she, y'all? 30 something? 32? Something like that? Come back in 10 years. You'll still be good. Promote. Produce. Do something of that nature. Don't perform. You don't need to perform no more, girl. Because you work good in your heyday and you did control things hell you was uh over beyonce really and then they just had to bring you down and sit you down for a long time girl you said it was 13 years girl 13 or 14 years <laughs> uh-uh no ma'am no lord no god okay I, I i i couldn't be fooling with the entertainment i couldn't be fooling with my family i just had to go get myself some peace some understanding and get myself together before I call myself coming back trying to do anything with my family or with the public or with the entertainment business. It's just all will be secondary, third dairy, fourth dairy. But my mental state, my peace, my happiness, I will be enjoying it with your loved one that you said you done got engaged to. Which I like again, if you was all shut up and, and closed off from everybody, I don't understand how you got a chance to get a fiance. That I'm just saying. You know, was she one of your employees that they had watching you, girl? Tell us the truth, T. Tell us the truth, T, girl. 
But prayers go up to um, Brittany. Hopefully she has a more happier life going forward. And she doesn't fall off and have to have, you know, breaks where she has to spend time in a mental institution because somebody don't disturb her peace. All right. But that's all I had for this video, guys. If you like and love it and got to have more, put it down in the comments. Other than that, make sure you like my video and share, share, share. Girl, go on and share this girl stuff. Go on and share my stuff now. Stop playing around. Go on and share my stuff, share my stuff out. But I will see y'all next video. And peace out.